Scared I'm gonna miss something because I can't hear the TV. Got me up in here crying. I'm gonna know. Y'all, when I tell y'all, first off, honey, I was I said when I get up in the morning, I was gonna record this, but I couldn't wait. I just sit up in there and cried till my head hurt. Queen Sugar gonna give me the damn flu. I just sit there, hair wet, ain't even blow dry, my little braids dry. Scared I'm gonna miss something because I can't hear the TV. Got me up in here crying, doggone nose. Halfway stocked up in red. Need to put a cucumber on my eye, I got bad. Lord have mercy. Tonight, Queen Sugar had me up in here like, no weapon formed against me. I'm like, Queen Sugar had me so up in my feelings. I'm up in here in my pajamas and my hair tied up. Y'all, let me tell you what. I don't even know where to start today. I guess we're going to go and start. Let's see who we're going to start with. That dog on Ralph Angel. This boy, him, I'm going to tell you what. I feel like Ralph Angel can run this form, but he let his mouth get in his way. He gonna have to let his sisters help. Somebody gonna have to humble him, just like somebody need to humble Charlie. They gonna have to get out of each other's way and band together as a family. This got my pressure so high. It just got me so worked up. I was already upset about the last episode with Charlie crying, had me broke down and crying about the meal getting choked up. And then we go into this episode wide open with this rap angel situation. Oh my God. I'm going to tell y'all what. I'm going to have to go in there and take two of these to get past this episode. And this 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 mid-season finale coming up, I don't, I don't even know. I, I'm going to tell you now. I, I'm probably going to have to go and take my, my leave and suffer my headache beforehand. I I thought when Charlie walked out there to where Rap Angel was, she was gonna she was gonna be like, Okay, brother, I got you. I got your back, okay. I have faith in you. <laughs> no, she went back in there. Cause I do think they need to have some faith in him, because they do be hard on him, but I think he'll do better if they have some faith in him. But at the same time, it's, it's more work in it than he, he act like he realized. Like, he act like sometimes it's just real simple. Like, he could just go out and do whatever he want and think. And then it's going to work. And it's going to be like his daddy did it. And it's going to prosper. And I don't, it is just, I don't think that's how it's going to go. And then I do agree why what Charlie said about why he left it to Ralph Angel. He did need to land the most because maybe if he got something to work toward he can stay out of trouble. And that's true. Because if it wasn't for this, Ralph Angel would have been still getting in trouble, still running the street, still doing whatever. And how he be pre treating poor dog. He's so selfish. The girl already done lost her job because of you. You uh put, keep putting stipulations on her like either you do this or you can't be with me or you can't come here or you can't see blue if you don't do what I tell you to do. Hell, she grown. Why she got to jump when you say jump? He just be, he just so selfish to the girl. Just selfish. He, he going to push the girl off the wagon, make her ass start back drinking. I mean, what what is going on here? And then, um, you know, Charlie needed her to go handle something at work. He going to try to say, oh, it ain't work. They just gonna gang up on me. And it really was work. But he that selfish that he don't even never think. He just be that's what's gonna make him not be able to run the form. That's why he gonna need his, his sisters. Instead of trying to be Billy Badass, be like, It's this my form. Y'all really can't tell me what to do. The daddy never did get the papers done because he knew he couldn't trust Ralph Angel. They gonna have to do it as a group. That's all it is. it's gonna take all of them to do it. But what they gonna end and what I think they're gonna end up doing is leaving his little ass at the dry and then he gonna have to call on him. Now I do um uh, agree with uh what Remy said to Charlie. How you gonna use your divorce for this situation? Charlie is selfish too. 
you need to, this is not about you. If this is about your daddy, then why you even going to bring up your divorce? Let your divorce be a totally different situation. Why you pick now to want to put it out there? Let your divorce be found. That could be kept behind doors. Don't even be letting that be put out there like that. Okay? Like, what is the purpose? I, um, I don't even... She just want to use that. She use it like, like, like they said. She's thoughtful. That was right. That's the perfect word. She's thoughtful because she knows how to think to make it work out. You know, make a situation work out. You know, she. It, you can't necessarily say her decisions are just intelligent, but they they they're well thought out, which is good in a way, but. At the same time, you got to get over yourself. So anyway, moving along. Uh, but at the end, I love at the end how when she when he asked her the question, the first thing she she put it on was, you know what he would what he would think, and then it done on her that what Remy said, you know, was true. You know, exact that's exactly what she was doing. She was it was you know, and that's not and she was honest and I like that so I'm ready to see the next episode of uh, I love Aunt Vi I like how she, she does the situation she don't pick sides but she do tell it like it is which is good and then I I um been waiting to hear what her deal was with this land I, I wonder if she owned a percentage of the land at the very beginning I wish I'd have started blogging the first season so we could have talked about it but I wonder why she didn't own a percentage of all that land it's 800 acres why you don't own uh, 400 acres or 200 acres or 100 acres I wonder what happened so it was so good to see that side of the story and everything and um Oh, this that was good. And the next thing we was going to talk about was um, um, Davis. Um, I feel like Davis still wants to be with Charlie. And I feel like at some point in time, they may, she may end up, I, I don't know. She really likes Remy a lot, but she's standing in her own way with that situation because that just how she be making decisions like excuse me her way of thinking it's just not how you do things she on that city mentality they on that down south home mentality and she gonna have to uh stop doing that but honey when they was crying about who land that was oh my goodness that was too much for me and, and uh, it was something I was supposed to say about um, the other sister. I lost my train of thought because I was thinking about it, so I could say it. I'm glad she got her. She she liking this guy in Atlanta, and she not bed hopping no more. She actually trying to settle down with this man, but at the same time. To me, they go together like oil and water. <laughs> like, I'm like, I do not see her. I don't know. I'm just see, watching to see how it play out. But when I tell you this show is so deep, it be about to make me break out in the spirituals and have me up in there praying for them. I'm like, it's just so deep. And this, this mid-season finale, I cannot wait to see. Because... I believe that they did send the Micah in jail. I think he was he was sexually assaulted. Uh, so we know he wasn't beat because he all light skinned and whatnot. So I believe they raped that boy in prison because something wrong with him. He just, you know, he slapped, he not blew on the floor. He paranoid when people trying to come up behind him. And I think they either they if they either raped him or they sexually assaulted him some kind of way. They did something to him. So, uh, I'm ready to see how that fell out. But, oh my goodness. This show, I mean, I when when it's coming on, I got to have me a, a cold face towel and some tissue. Because your girl be crying, 
face be red, nose running, husband looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm going to tell you, and when this show first came out, um, I had been watching Greenleaf. And I was like, okay, Oprah did that with Greenleaf. Because, you know, her, her thought process can be just, it's so deep. And it's so out of the box, which is what people need to learn to do is think outside of the box. You don't never know what you're going to get. But let me tell you, I was I didn't know what we was going to get with Queen Sugar. When I tell you this show give you life, because it's so, this is like such a real, I'm going to tell you, this show and Greenleaf, I'm going to have to give it hands down the two most realistic shows that that that's on TV right now. Um, I would say after them would be uh, the have and the have nots. And then if loving you is wrong, but them two shows right there is the most realistic shows that just touch home for you. That just grab hold to you. They just grab you and pull you in because you can feel that pain. Cause like either you've been there, you know somebody that's been there, been there. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's so freaking deep. But anyway, it's getting late. Well, it's not really late. It's just 10, what, 10, 16. But anyway, I'm just going to go blow dry my hair because I've been crying and my nose is stuffed up and all this kind of stuff. I'm going to watch the reruns of um, Queen Sugar. And I might have more to say, so it may end up being two videos. Because if I see something that I missed, then it'll be another because I was just so blown away. That I really just seriously just had to come make this video. When I tell you this show give me life, I mean, it's everything. So, I'll catch y'all later. Bye.